information storage on most computers is done with a hard drive or HDD. It is a mechanical storage device with one or more spinning disks or platters inside. A mechanical arm with a head on one end is used to read data from and write data to the platters. The two key advantages to hard drives is their capacity to store information and their price. As of summer 2011, you can get a 2 terabyte or 2,000 gigabyte hard drive for around $80. This makes the price per gigabyte of data stored 4 cents for hard drives. One disadvantage of hard drives is that they are prone to failure. This puts your information in danger of being lost and requires you to regularly back up your data to another disk or an online data backup service. The next disadvantage of hard drives is that they are relatively slow at reading and writing data. In modern computers, the hard drive is the bottleneck. Chances are, if you're waiting for something to happen on your computer, it's because the hard drive can't keep up. This includes starting Windows, launching a program, moving between screens in a program, etc. A solid-state drive, or SSD, is another option for data storage. SSDs have no spinning disk to store data on. All information is written to and read from flash memory chips. Some advantages of SSDs are faster reading and writing of data, faster seek times, low heat production, and they are silent. The latest SSDs can read and write data at around 500 megabytes per second, while hard drives struggle to get to 50 megabytes per second. Seek time is the time in milliseconds a drive takes to get to the next piece of data. SSDs can have seek times as low as 0.1 milliseconds. Hard drives typically have 10 millisecond seek times. Disadvantages of SSDs include low capacities compared to hard drives and a much higher cost per gigabyte of storage. SSD capacities as of summer 2011 max out at 1 terabyte, while hard drives go up to 3 terabytes in capacity. The cost differences are dramatic. A 1 terabyte SSD is around $3,000 while a 1 terabyte hard drive is around $50. For a 128 gigabyte SSD, the cost is around $230. This makes the cost per gigabyte $1.80. Compared to 4 cents per gigabyte on a hard drive, SSDs have a price premium. On a laptop, which typically only has a spot for one drive, if you want the extra speed a SSD can provide, you have to sacrifice capacity. On a desktop computer, you can use both hard drives and SSDs. The ideal setup is to have an SSD as your boot drive where you install Windows and the majority of your programs. For your data and lesser used programs, you install a hard drive. Having Windows and your most used programs on the SSD gives you an extremely responsive experience using your computer. Your data probably consists of personal and work documents, pictures, videos, music, etc. All of which play fine from a hard drive, or are small enough so that the slower speed of the hard drive doesn't make any noticeable difference. Modern SSDs, hard drives, DVD or Blu-ray drives connect to the computer through a data cable to a SATA controller on the motherboard. There are two speeds of SATA, SATA 3 gigabits per second and SATA 6 gigabits per second, also called SATA 2 and SATA 3 respectively. SATA 2's 3 gigabits per second translates to 375 megabytes per second, and SATA 3's 6 gigabits per second translates to 750 megabytes per second. These are theoretical speeds. Drive speeds are typically measured in megabytes per second. Even the fastest SSD, when running on a SATA 2 controller, maxes out at 280 megabytes per second when reading and 260 megabytes per second when writing. To get past these limits, you will need a SATA 3 drive and a SATA 3 controller on your motherboard. Most SSDs are packaged like 2.5 inch hard drives and connect to the system using a SATA data cable. The 2.5 inch size makes them ideal for installation in a notebook computer, which takes 2.5-inch drives. 
three and a half inch SSDs are available, but not easy to find. There is a much greater variety of two and a half inch SSDs available. To install a two and a half inch drive into a desktop computer, you will need a two and a half inch to three and a half inch adapter. You can find them at most local computer stores and online stores between five and fifteen dollars. This adapter has space for two two and a half inch drives. Some two and a half inch SSDs come as a kit with the adapter. SSDs that come in expansion card form and connect through a PCI Express slot on the motherboard are another option. The PCI Express bus allows for much faster transfer rates than even SATA 3. In lesson 2, we will cover other features of solid state drives and RAID, including trim support, garbage cleanup, firmware updates, the advantages of using RAID, and the different types of RAID. In lesson 3, we will show how to enable SATA or RAID mode in your motherboard's BIOS, and if you opt to use RAID, how to enter the RAID configuration utility and configure the array. In lesson 4, we will find drivers for the SATA RAID controller and install Windows on the RAID array. In lesson 5, we will update the drivers for the SATA RAID controller, disable defragmentation for all SSDs, and show how to make a backup of your C drive.